Hey guys, so I did this video a few months ago, but I never uploaded it because it didn't articulate exactly what I wanted to say. But I watched uh, Roger Yates and Jeremy Hess um, debating this subject on the Animal Rights Show tonight. Um, and I know I talked about this animal-centric versus human-centric concept to Jeremy um, in quite some detail a few months ago. So I just wanted to upload it. It's not, it's not perfect, but I really think we need to get over this issue of intersection, intersectionals versus non-intersectionals for our movement to go on and to be fighting effectively for other animals. So here goes. So most vegans, when they're talking about their vegan journey, are talking about the journey that led them up to stop using other animals. Um, however, for me, that's the welfare journey. And for me, that was my welfare journey. The vegan journey started the moment I decided to stop using other animals. And I'm well into my vegan journey, but I've got a lot of my vegan, vegan journey to do. And <clears throat> I'm heading towards my understanding of the full scope of veganism which I think is is a task which is uh, for it's a forever task it's something that we'll continuously do until the day that we die it's a it's a, a real journey into the philosophy of veganism um, to help sort of understand this I've done this little chart now I'm using Roger Yates theory of focus versus scope here um, so for here this is the welfare journey that goes into the vegan journey and this here is the focus line right and this this focus line is when we understand the focus of veganism and start living to the focus of veganism which is to stop using other animals so the moment we stop using other animals that's what I call the V spot um, and that's where we become vegan right and then our vegan journey is understanding more of the scope of veganism. So on this welfare journey, you might have meatless Mondays, um, you know, stopping stopping eating animals from factory farms, uh, becoming pescatarian, becoming vegetarian, etc., etc. But we only become vegan the moment we hit this V spot when we understand and live to the focus of veganism. Right, which is to stop using other animals. And then, this is when we go towards the scope. Now, I would say that up until this focus line, up until the V-spot, we are looking at life from a human-centric point of view. And then, when we start our vegan journey, we are looking at life from a total animal centric um, point of view so another I've written here other animal centric point of view but it's really it's a total animal centric point of view because we're thinking about ourselves as well but the focus of veganism is on other animals however within the scope of veganism um, which is a smaller part of veganism because other animals are so oppressed that's why we focus on other animals but within the scope of veganism there's environmentalism um, there's soil health, there's human issues like starving children, etc, um, etc. Et and these are within the scope of veganism. But we focus on other animals because A, they're the most oppressed group, but B, like, the oppression of other animals is the original oppression. That's the first oppression. And if we can crack that, um, first oppression, then all the other oppressions should snowball, right? So, for instance, 82% of starving children come from countries that export grain to the West to feed the animals that we are eating. So, we go vegan, we're not exporting that grain, uh, then countries can feed, feed, feed themselves. And it all leads into capitalism or all other, other points. But for me, this is where the vegan journey starts, when we stop using other animals. Um, and up until that point, we're looking at it for a, a human-centric lens. And then after that point, we're looking at it through an other animal-centric lens. Now, 
How does intersectionality fit onto this chart? Right. For me, intersectionality has nothing to do with veganism. It's a it's a it's a it's a way of categorizing and understanding human oppression. So it's it's human centric. So if you're a vegan intersectional um, uh, and you're labeling yourself as a hu human uh, as a vegan intersectional, um, then and you, for instance, you think that uh, we shouldn't we shouldn't um, we shouldn't advocate to people of like native peoples of, of or indigenous peoples of other lands that have been colonized by Europeans. Um, and it's fine for them to oppress and use other animals because of their status of being an indigenous person that, that's been previously colonized. Then I would say you're on this side of the line. I would I would say you're here. You're not quite past the V spot because you're still thinking from a human centric point of view, right? You're not thinking about everything from an other animal centric point of view, right? So, and then we've got the animals only people um, who are actually other animals only people, right? Because humans are animals and they're here, right? So they're pretty close on this line because the human centric, but they're other animal centric, right? However, they're, they're, they're not understanding the scope of veganism, which has all these other aspects. So if you look at uh, vegans that have been vegan and active for several decades, I've not met one yet um, that isn't uh, intersectional. Um, and is passionate also about environmental issues and gardening and various other things like that, which are all within the scope of veganism, right? So, so those guys, they're all up here on this list. Personally, I've gone from other animals only. I've realized through the history of our vegan movement and the modern movement that, that there's more involved, but the focus is very much on other animals, right? The focus, and I, that, that's very, um, I can't state that enough. The focus is on other animals. Just because there's these other aspects doesn't mean that we should be concentrating on those other aspects. We shouldn't. We should be concentrating on other animals. Right, so I feel like I'm here because I'm on my vegan journey and I'm researching and I'm learning about the whole scope of veganism. Um, so that's that's how I feel it starts. It starts here on the welfareism journey. You hit the V spot, which is the focus of veganism and then you head towards the scope of veganism. Um, there was one point I was gonna make and I've forgotten what it was. So tell me what you think. Um, hopefully I'm going to be doing a stream about this uh, human centric versus a um, animal centric or other animal centric point of view with um, Jeremy Hess, hopefully. Um, but I just like, let's get the conversation going about this because I feel like the argument over intersectionality within the vegan movement is not only wrong and doesn't actually really exist. Um, I think it's really taking a lot of time and energy away from the focus on the other animals and, um, total liberation. So, on another note, I'd like to say thank you to uh, Toby, vegan soldier. Um, I'll, I'll put a link in it, but he sent me this amazing t-shirt. Um, and he, all the money that he raises uh, when he sells his merchandise goes to a vegan food bank, which is absolutely brilliant and an amazing cause. So, thanks Toby, really appreciate that. And I'll put a link in the description or in the comments.